So when I think about doing anti-oppressive work, I like to really think about that lens that people are coming um, with because I don't want to assume that everyone shows up and, you know, when you hear these, um, you hear a lot of stuff in social media or these, you know, like in the wellness industry about just like claiming your power, let's say for a woman or we can do anything that we want and um, the world is your oyster. And, you know, there is a part of me that really does believe that. But I can also understand that there is a lot of people that have not grown up um, with that sense of that like agency of the opportunities are afforded to them in the same way as let's say um, someone who might uh, experience white privilege, right? So uh, I, I like to be very sensitive about how these different experiences um, f in particular for, you know, BIPOC um, population of how that shows up for them and not just to kind of assume or if they don't have that thought that doesn't mean there's something wrong with them. Um, and it just takes time to kind of, uh, we've learned things, but you know, part of the process in therapy is actually how do we unlearn so many things that we have been programmed to think or believe about ourselves that have kept us in kind of like these kind of small boxes, right? So part of the work I do is, is to, first of all, um, instill maybe some sense of self-compassion for for why we've had to think and feel that way really it's a way of survival for uh for a lot of folks right but at some point if that is no longer serving us in the way it used to um then how do we find ways to then unlearn or hope or have more hope or heal from these experiences that can be very um traumatic because it's i mean i, I explore kind of like microaggressions for example as it's like a death by a thousand um, paper cuts, right? One small kind of experience, we might seemingly small, we might minimize it. But think about if someone is experiencing, um, you know, microaggressions, not being served the same way or being ignored or having different assumptions about them because of the way they look um, as they navigate every single day of their life. Um, so when I think about anti-oppressive work or being culturally sensitive, these are the kind of things that I, I look at and try to have compassion for understanding uh, when I'm providing support to the BIPOC community.